Chrome OS 90 is here and it's rolling out for lots of users. And there's a ton of new stuff in this update. And though it's not quite as feature packed as 89 was, there's some cool stuff here. And we wanted to take you through our top five new things that Chrome OS 90 can do that you can access right now, no flags, no extra tricks. Let's take a look. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. They're the VPN of choice for millions of consumers because they're awesome at what they do, and that's keeping your browsing safe and secure, whether you're at home or out and about. If you'd like to learn more about them and their services, head over to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN, and you can learn more and get started today. All right, let's start off with our first feature that is in Chrome OS 90. We've talked about it before, but it's here out of the box. All you have to do is search for scan, and you will see the new scanning app. It is here. It will look for any printers on your local Wi-Fi. I've actually loaded up a piece of paper in ours real quick so we can actually test it here. So we're going from the flatbed, scan it to my files that works and you can choose your file type here. And again, you could choose a different place for it to go when it gets done scanning. I'm just going to put it in my files. Um, we'll go with the JPEG and then further you can do color or not color, uh, black and white grayscale type thing. Um, then we've got page size, we've got three different page size, and then your resolution DPI. I'm going to go ahead and get scan and give it just a second. And there you go. As soon as it's done, it's going to show you a visual preview. We're good to go. We hit done. It takes you right back to that screen and we can see it should actually be done here in my tote. Yep. Scan is right there. And it's also, if you look in your files app under my files, you can see the scan that you just did. I can double click it in that new media app that came out in the last update. You can see that and make some edits to it, mark it up, all that kind of stuff if you need to. All right, the next feature we're gonna talk about is window naming, and it does exactly what you would think it would do based on the name of it. If I open up a Chrome window, and that's kind of all this really works on, if I open up a window and right click up here on the top bar, we now have an option to name the window. And I can name that window eight, whatever, it doesn't matter. You name it whatever you need. But then when you go into your overview mode, instead of it telling you what it is up here, it says eight. So then if I have multiple Chrome windows with multiple tabs open and I find myself in this situation many, many times where maybe my, my Gmail has lent itself over to me opening a few things from my Gmail, but then I have another Chrome instance somewhere else that has some stuff I'm working on, whatever. It's sometimes difficult if I'm going down here to look between these. I don't know which Chrome instance I'm looking for. And so this almost does me no good a lot of times, but now I can name this window Oops, over here, name this window zero. And then when I'm looking at these and I see them all together, I know that that's zero, that's eight, you know, obviously you're going to name them something more creative than that. But basically this gives you a better way to organize and see whenever you go into this overview mode or you're using virtual desks to be able to see which Chrome instance you're using. So if you have multiple tabs open, it's easier to know where you are and how to get back to where you need to go. So the next one we're going to look at is the new diagnostics app. So let me close some of this stuff down here. So we aren't all cluttered. And if I go to search now and search diagnostics, you see this, and we've talked about this before. We've actually put this on video before, uh, and it's like pre stages, basically when it was moving through the developer and beta channels, but it is here out of the box, ready for you to try it out and use. And it does again, what you would expect it to do. It, it gives you some basic diagnostic information about the system here. And so you can see basic things like battery health, the number of times this is a brand new Chromebook here, the number of cycles, this battery has charged the current charge that it has on it. You can run a discharge chip test and be able to pull that stuff out. Um, you've got your, uh, current usage of the CPU, the temperature is running at, the current speed it's running at. You have a, a battery of tests you can run here as well for the CPU. And then you get down to memory and you see of the eight gigs, how much is actually available. And you can run tests and export all of these sessions uh, in a log. And basically this isn't necessarily for you as a user to go in and dig through and be keeping your eye on this stuff. Hopefully you don't have to mess with this stuff, but in the event that something's going wrong and you're trying to, to troubleshoot your device and figure out what is going on, maybe there's a, an expert trying to help you over the phone or via email or something. These kind of stats can be very, very helpful in that uh, situation to help them see what's happening on your device. And that's the, that's the purpose of this new diagnostic tool. Onto our next feature. This is another productivity focused feature, and it has to do with tote or holding space as we used to call it. And that's this area down here where your recent files are shown. And this is a feature that 
I've come to use quite a bit and the fact that they're adding some stuff to it's really cool. One of the things that they have added in Chrome OS 90 is the ability to just remove files from here. And honestly, it's one of those things we wanted from the get go. And all you have to do is right click as you would expect, click remove, and boom, that thing is gone. The second thing that they've added to Tote is the ability to drag stuff down into Tote. And as you see, my, my Tote's gone. I deleted everything out of it. I can't drag something to something that's not there. So I wanna show you a quick other tip. This has actually been around for a little bit, but if you didn't know, if you right click a file and click uh, pin to shelf, it's actually gonna pin it down there in Tote. So now I've got a Tote area to drag something to. But the bigger highlight here is the fact that now any of these additional files I can just grab. If I know I'm gonna need this file and I need it to get to tote and I deleted it and shouldn't have or whatever, I can just grab this thing, drag it right down here, boop, drop it, you see that animation? And now both of those files are down here in tote for your use whenever you need them. So the final feature we're gonna talk about today is the fact that a couple Google apps are actually kind of installing themselves as PWAs at this point moving forward on Chromebooks. And those two apps are YouTube and Google Maps. So if you've had those shortcuts basically pinned into your app launcher prior to this, they're just gonna to try to open themselves up as PWAs. And if you haven't, uh, you'll see the install script up at the top in the URL bar pretty prominently the next time you try to open these things on your Chromebook. But most people have them kind of pinned or installed out of the box. So for new users and you know existing users alike, when you click that YouTube link now, it's still just YouTube on the web basically, but you're gonna get it in this nice PWA fashion. Same thing goes for Maps. If I click Google Maps now, it opens up in its own window. Same functionalities are all there. Everything's there that you need and it's gonna function just like you want. But Google's trying to take some of these app experiences and open them up as separate applications. But guys, that's it for this one. We hope this helps you out and helps you see some of the cool stuff that's coming in Chrome OS 90. There are a few features that Google announced whenever they put out their Chrome OS 90 announcement that aren't ready yet. They aren't working, they aren't functioning. So live captions, some updates to the search bar, you know, with the everything button that were announced and they don't work quite yet or they're they're in the process of being rolled out on an account level basis. So when those things do come out, we'll update and we'll do some future videos about Chrome OS 90 and some of the other things you can do maybe with some flags and all that kind of stuff. But we wanted to show you some of the cool new things you can do right out of the box without having any additional setup. And these are the top five things that we really liked and are enjoying so far with the update. But that's it for this one. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up head down there and hit that subscribe button and make sure and hit the notification bell as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.